everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the autoresponder for all of your new leads coming in. It's rather easy to do. The first thing, though, we need to keep in mind is for the autoresponder to be sent, the lead needs to be associated with an agent. Now, I understand that some of you are not working with team members or part of a brokerage where you're assigning leads to other agents, where you're just working all of these leads yourself. That's fine. However, we still need to make sure that that leads are assigned to an agent, even if it's yourself. Now, you can have the leads be automatically assigned to an agent or yourself based upon the map location. Now, I've created a helpful video on our YouTube channel that will walk you through how to automatically assign leads based on map location. You know, please watch that video and it will walk you through this step by step. If, however, you want to manually assign the leads, all you have to do is just put a check mark in the checkbox next to a lead name or more than one lead if you like and then down at the bottom just assign just choose from the drop down which agent you want to assign the lead to and then click go another way that you could do it is just by going to the actual lead summary page for a lead edit the lead by clicking the button the green button at the top and then just select the lead or select the name that the the agent name that the lead will be associated to now the reason being that we have to go ahead and assign a lead to an agent is because if we go to the manage agents page and I'm gonna look at this agent right here the reason we have to do that is every agent has their own email signature so when you assign the lead to an agent the autoresponder is going to be sent from that agent's name. So from their agent's name, their email address, and then it's also going to use that agent's signature. So that's the reason we have to assign the lead to an agent. So now, once the lead is assigned to an agent, we can go ahead and make sure that the autoresponder is going to be set. And how we do this is we go to Settings, Common Site Settings, and you'll see there's two types of autoresponders here. There's an agent autoresponder and a bank autoresponder. They both work the same way. We're really only going to deal with the agent autoresponder in this video, although the bank autoresponder, if you're assigning leads to banks or lenders, works exactly the same way. So by default, the agent autoresponder will be set to off. If you want leads to be automatically sent, the autoresponder email, as soon as they're assigned to an agent, just change this to on, you're going to notice that another box is going to open up. It's the autorespond after how many minutes. By default, the autoresponder email will be sent five minutes after the lead has been assigned to an agent. You can change that to any time period you want. If you want to change it to one minute, feel free to go ahead and do that. Now, if you would like to see the actual email that's being sent, there's a link here that says Edit Email Template. All you have to do is click that. It's going to open up a new tab and it's going to show you the exact email that's going to be sent. So here's the email subject. It's going to drop in the lead's first name and it's going to thank them for using the site name. Now all the snippet or variables are over here on the right hand side. You can use any of them. And then this variable that says signature, that's going to actually drop in the agent's email signature that we set and that we just looked at. Now this is just a very basic autoresponder. I would highly suggest that you customize this with whatever, whatever verbiage you would like to use. So again, please remember, any of these that are in curly brackets here, these are snippets or variables. And all the ones that are available for you to use, such as first name, last name, email address, you can put the date in there, um, the site URL, the site name, the signature, all of those are listed. So if you have any questions on this whatsoever, please let me know. Uh, we're always here to help. You know, we're available by phone, email, our private prov, you know, Prime Seller Leads Facebook group, and the live chat that's inside the bottom of all of your back-end admin areas. Thank you.